Kempsey Shire Council has prepared draft designs for the Crescent Head foreshore and village centre. Now we are seeking your feedback on the future of your area. Crescent Head is one of the jewels of Kempsey Shire in the traditional land of the Dunkardy people. Its residents are rightly proud of the laid back village atmosphere that defines its character. It is also one of Australia's favourite holiday destinations. In 2017, Council worked with the local community to prepare the Crescent Head Area Master Plan. That plan identified foreshore recreation, village centre beautification and traffic flow as key priorities. The Crescent Head Public Domain Project is focused on these key areas. It reimagines Crescent Head's foreshore and village centre and is now at a crucial phase. Between August and October 2019, Council undertook a series of engagement activities with the residents of Crescent Head to inform the draft designs for the foreshore and the village centre. This included a community information stall at Crescent Head Club, a workshop with 45 Year 5 and 6 students at Crescent Head Primary School, a council community catch-up with around 60 residents, and a full-day co-design workshop with 30 residents. The draft designs presented to Council's May meeting were based on the information taken from that engagement. These designs focus on two key areas. The key strategy for Crescent Head's foreshore areas is to increase public open space and improve connections between spaces. We are prioritising improved access and ensuring the best spots are usable for the community. Little Nobby will receive a new footpath, seating and viewing areas, as well as revegetation of the headland. The focus of the design has been to prevent ongoing erosion, to protect the natural environment, to be sensitive to the low-key aspects of the location and the importance of community access. The foreshore path through Linear Park will be widened and new viewing decks, seating and beach showers will be added. The existing memorial rock field will be retained and areas of erosion and revegetation will also be addressed. Public space across the foreshore will be opened up through reimagining the car parking areas to improve pedestrian safety as well as opening up public space to the community. The new car park designs offer three options. These reduce overall parking by between 14 and 21 spaces while increasing boat trailer and public space. Reclaiming space previously dedicated to car parks will allow for new boat ramp access, a new skate park, widened walkways, new seating and shelters. The existing Banksia and Pandanus trees and Norfolk Pines will be retained. The extended Creekside Park running from the Surf Lifesaving Club will also have new picnic tables, seating, shelters and barbecues, including accessible facilities for people with a disability. There will also be a new playground and adventure park for children. The current boat ramp and footbridge will be retained with improved access. The Killick Creek foreshore path will evolve into a clear public space through the creation of subtle separations between the path and holiday park. This will ensure the public path is not blocked by individual campers. Concrete terraces stepping down the rock wall will facilitate sitting, fishing and creek access. New formalised parking along the western edge of Willow Street will allow the creation of new open public space at Willow Street Park with picnic tables, shade and ramp and step access to the creek for kayaks and swimmers. The new pathway will continue along the foreshore to Muddy Arm Park, which will retain its existing natural, flexible and open feel with additional seating and improved walkways. The existing village centre faces a number of challenges, from limited footpaths to aged facilities. The focus for the village centre designs is slowing traffic speeds and establishing a village centre that prioritises pedestrians and cyclists while communicating the value of natural beauty as soon as visitors enter the village. The streetscape of Pacific Street will be improved through the addition of trees and landscaping. The existing bus stop will also move west along Pacific Street to ensure it is in an accessible location with paths extended to reach it. Parking on Main Street will be formalised with some changes to existing arrangements. This will allow for the footpath on the southern side of Main Street to be widened 
which in turn will enable the provision of accessible ramps from street levels, improvements to outdoor dining, and the introduction of landscape elements for natural shade and amenity. The main strategies for Lloyd Park are to improve accessibility and connectivity not only to and from the park, but also through it. The park will receive significant improvements with new seating and shade and reorientation of the War Memorial Monument to face the park space and allow for better gathering options. East Street will get improved pedestrian linkages and accessibility, new street trees and planting. There is also improved access to the small Pacific court space through the removal of unnecessary barriers and the provision of comfortable seating. There will be improvements to public amenity and accessibility on Rankin Street through curb extensions at both ends, streetscape planting, including shade trees, and an accessible ramp connecting shop level to street level. The Rankin Street car park will also get new and improved footpath connections. It is proposed that May Street become one way in a southerly direction and that the car park side of the street be changed to angled car parking. This will enable an increase to village centre car parking numbers. May Street will also get new pathways and trees. Reserve Road currently has issues relating to pedestrian safety and amenity, traffic speeds and congestion. Two landscaped traffic islands are proposed to slow traffic speeds and allow for the planting of street trees. It is also proposed that the caravan lay-by area be extended. Have your say. Now is the opportunity for you to have your say on the proposed designs. Simply head to yoursaymaclay.newsouthwales.gov.au and follow the links to the Crescent Head Draft Foreshore and Village Centre designs. There, you can review the full suite of draft designs and provide your feedback anytime between now and July 1. Thank you for your help in ensuring a bright future for Crescent Head.